Hi! This series video is collaboration with two really amazing creators, Made by Sava and Bonnie and Clive. Please check the playlist down below where all the videos from this collaboration are gathered together. I am going to use some of the packaging um, from stickers and whatever I had. Um, this is just the top part. Usually it was hanging like down here. So I took the staples off. And I'm going to transform this with some envelopes into some notepad thingies. So, um, this one has a sticker on the back. This is like a price sticker. And I'm trying to take those off. These were discounted, so that's why they have those. You can leave it like it is, or you can paint them with anything you have. Um, if you have watercolors, then you could turn it around and paint it so you don't have any design. You can put a paper over it if you wanted to. It's up to you. Um, or you can just put a sticker here so it's not visible. You can do whatever you want, basically. But um, what I'm going to do is just um, paint them with my brayer and with some acrylic paints. So, And I'm going to use this side to cover it completely and maybe I'm gonna put some color on the back I, I don't know yet but that is what I'm gonna do now it's going to look like this I put some paint on the inside as well and you could use it like this or you could stitch every flap all around so I decided um, I'm gonna leave one blank and the other one I'm going to just stitch around and this is what I did it makes it more sturdy I would say and it looks really nice I'm going to cut these threads off um, and leave it more like more or less hanging a little bit so they're less neat and you can still see them. I really like the inside as well. Hmm. I think I'm gonna use the outside. You can still see some of the writing but you can't even tell what it is from. So let me put this one aside and I'm going to try to make some pages for this topper. For this project I'm going to use window envelopes, basically just the back side of it, um, to make some pages so you can write on or you can doodle on it if you wanted to or even stamp on it and have a stamped booklet if you wanted to. So I just glued that piece of paper down because it was torn and I'm going to open the envelope on all sides. Oh, here is already open. And here. So, yeah, I'm just going to use this one. If I have something like this, I might put another paper over it. So I would patch it up or I would just sew with a zigzag stitch or what else? Or I would cut it off, but I'm pretty sure I would just use it as it is uh, with some stitching. So it's a, it's a repaired page. Um, the inside is more like grayish, but I think I just want to use the outside of the envelope for my page like this. So that is what I'm going to do. And you can even use this part of the envelope so you would have smaller pages or you could cut it in half and have two smaller pages if you wanted to. So it's totally up to you if you want to save the window or not. So here I have three envelopes, um, three back panels of the envelopes, and they're pretty much all right. I'm going to use my glue to really tag down this um, flaps so somewhere you can actually see they're lifting up and I just want them down. And now I'm going to measure the width for this uh, topper, if I can call it topper. Okay, let's say someone like, I'm going to put it a little bit inside, should I? Yeah, I think it's going to be nice. And I'm going to take off this much. And then I think I'm just going to put them on the middle and uh, cut through the middle 
So I'm gonna have six pages. So I want to cut this side and this one. So now I have six pages and I think I'm going to orient them like this. Um, so this um, joint pieces are gonna be are going to be on the top. And yeah. So three, four, five, six. And I had a really nice piece for the back. I'm gonna use the pattern one for the back because I think they look really nice like this and I'm going to put them inside here something like this I'm going to align them on the bottom and put a clip on just in case they don't move on me and I'm going to cut a little bit off here because it was not really straight and now I'm thinking I want to use some brads to make my pad so I have this really mini um, hole puncher and I was thinking um, if this is the front I want to put four holes in to have these cutesy brads in I think I'm just going to do on the front and then glue the back page onto this. So now I think I'm going to just put it. I'm going to put these brads in. They don't do much, they're just here to be here and be nice. So, like this, press them down really good. These are just so it's going to look nice when it's closed. And then I feel like I want to do, I want to put these breads in here, but I wanted to put it through all of the pages. So let me think. I'm gonna go up here. Uh, something like this. And I'm gonna try to make, I'm gonna try to clip it here and make another hole through. Hopefully, I'm not gonna miss through all the pages. And then I'm going to put just. Uh, the bread in trying to hold it straight like this and bread two more breads you could use any color doesn't matter like this and I'm gonna turn it down up and down I think it's looking cute and I think I'm going to leave it so it's gonna have some space here um, I use these so you can actually take them off um, and attach them to something or whatever you want so you don't need to tear and you can reuse this if you wanted to but I'm thinking like I want to glue the back onto the last sheet but then you're not gonna be able to open it up I'm going to leave it as it is and just glue the back the back side like this and really try to press it down probably 
I don't know. I just thought it's going to look nice if I put brads in and they don't show on the other side so they're hidden. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue inside of here as well. And I do have a um, paper cutter where you can perforate the pages. So I could do that. I could just mark it and perforate all the pages and then put them inside. So you could tear off from the pad. That would be really nice to see as well. So these are really cute, cutesy cute. And... Uh, And I think I want to use this corner punch to make some corners, if I'm going to be able to, probably. And this side, like this, looks way better. Um, and the back is like this. I need to press it down really good here. You can see still you can still see the pages from the top. And now if you don't have breads, you could use staples here and here without any problem or even three staples. It would go through um, without any problem. Um, so we have a little pad. I was thinking I could put a word somewhere. This is an embellishment from a few videos back. You can go watch it. I'm going to put that video into the card and down below if you're interested. So I think I'm just going to ink So I'm just going to put it here and that's probably going to be it. You could cover the hole, but I kind of like the hole. Maybe I could put it right beneath the hole. Well, somewhere here it's going to go. Let's put it there. Just gluing it down. I like that it's stitched. Looks really nice. So, somewhere here... I have this butterfly stamp that I wanted to use, maybe somewhere here, maybe not every page, every other page maybe, like here, and let's do every other page. This, this, and you can write on the back as well, like this. Um, yeah, you can write on the back as well if you wanted to, and not just that, if you want to use both sides, you can finish the front and then turn around and finish the back. So I found this saying, and I'm just going to use this saying, nothing can dim your light. It's really nice saying, and I'm going to tear it out, and I'm going to put it here. I think I need to have this a little bit less. It's going to look nice, and I'm going to distress it a little bit. My sponge is really flaky. It's really, really old, and I made it with some sponges. So I'm going to put this here and I think I want to put uh, two different butterflies here for some reason with some blue ink. Let's try it. And I have another butterfly so I can use it on the other side. Something like this. And just put it here like this. 
trying to have really simple embellishments like so and do I want to stamp it maybe I can stamp it what I'm going to do with dark blue um, every here and every other one here oh that's it I can stamp somewhere else okay so this one is finished um, I was thinking if you don't have these um, kind of cardboard packaging uh, you can make your own from packaging cardboard or you could make from another envelope this envelope was glued all together I opened it and then I glued the inside um, so it's really thick and wobbly as you can see it's not even really um, flat but if you would do the same thing um, and put acrylic on or watercolors or you would turn it inside out and then use watercolors on it because you can still see some stuff on it you can use this to make your uh, top so something like this just gonna squeeze it down um, and use my scissors to crease it like this or you can use fabric or anything really it doesn't need to be cardboard it, it, you can glue fabric onto a piece of uh, envelope and use that as well and I'm going to cut both of them so I'm just going to use my guillotine and try to cut both at the same time so they're going to be really, really flush. And I like that it's not raw edge, that it's actually folded edge, if you can see. Um, so you can, I think this was the envelope window. I painted this envelope two times on the window side. So it's really um, like a plasticky feeling. Um, I can't even know that there is a window. So, okay, I'm gonna crease this again. Really good. And now I could do the same thing. Gather the pages um, and ink it up and have the same thing. And I could embellish it as well with some word embellishments that we made in previous videos and it could go like this and again it could be double sided you can stitch the the top if you wanted to um, could just um, clip these pages together like so and put them inside of your topper and just stitch directly on it all around if you wanted to and then would be you would have stitched booklet and not glued in. I hope you can use a lot of envelopes with these projects and make the junk mail usable again. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!